The art of going sideways in cars is not perhaps the most relevant or grown up of things that we do as road testers, but it is one of the more enjoyable parts of the job, which is why we invented the sideways challenge in the first place. And in 2014, there are more cars that will do drifting than at any time in the history of the automobile. But of the collection of four and rear wheel drive cars you see here, which is best when it comes to going sideways? And who, out of this motley collection of road testers, racing drivers, rally drivers, and industry experts, is best at making them go sideways? That's what we went to the rally stage at Alton Park Racetrack to find out. And this time, we introduced a rare bit of science into proceedings in the form of a race logic drift box, which measures everything from vehicle speed to yaw rates to lateral acceleration to come up with a number that can't really be argued with in the end. The bigger the number, the more successful the drift, basically. And so whichever cars and drivers could generate the biggest numbers would win. After a day of drifting the entire car park of contenders, we got it down to two cars, the C63 AMG and the Audi R8. These, said both the computer and our backsides, were the two best drifters. And so then it came down to the somewhat thornier issue of working out who could do the best drifts. Each driver would get a couple of practice runs and one measured run in both Audi and Mercedes and then it would simply be a matter of crunching the numbers through three carefully chosen corners to see who came out top. From the world of circuit racing, there was James Collado, Darren Turner, Michael Meadows and Rob Austin. From the world of rallying, there was Elfin Evans and from Jaguar's handling and ride team, there was ex-scribbler Johnny Barker. We also invited a professional tyre shredder in the form of drift world record holder Mauro Carlo and Dunlop tyre tester Graham Harris. And from the strange world of car journalism, there was yours truly. So, let's see how it went in round one using the Mercedes. Apparently I'm not very good at this, I need some more practice, but no, it's really good fun. <laughs> Great car. Totally the opposite to what I'm used to um, on the racetrack, but no, it's uh, nice and slippy. Nice to get some drifting done. It's all about having fun, isn't it, really? I don't know if that's how you should drive a C63, but I really enjoyed it. Um, it's very slippery out there, and it's just getting used to it. I think we had a, an okay run. It seemed pretty slippery, it seemed pretty sideways, so we'll see how it turns out on the score. The car's fantastic. Getting the power down's a little bit tricky, but uh, I really enjoyed it. It's good fun. At the end of round one, Aston Martin's GT racing ace, Darren Turner, was in a league of one. For some reason, he could get the drift box to generate huge numbers out of the C63, while the rest of us all stood around looking a bit puzzled. And I think it's called raw talent. So then we went to round two, using the theoretically trickier to drift, mid-engined Audi R8. And to begin with, some drivers did, let's say, struggle a bit to get to grips with the car.
Yeah, it was a bit more to my liking actually, you know, the, the engine more towards the back from Mercedes. It was uh, good fun, it's just difficult to convince yourself that sideways is the best thing to do. Yeah, I actually think I did better in this than I did in the Mercedes, to be honest. I think my scores look better. Um, I'm not sure if that's just because uh, the car was gathering more speed. Um. bit more of a delay to get the rear to slide but uh, as soon as it does start sliding you need to be uh, quick catch it so uh, yeah it was good. I'm more a rear wheel drive man so uh, I prefer the Mercedes. That was a bit better than in the Mercedes. In the Mercedes, I made a bit of a mess of it, to be honest. But I much prefer this. It's bit, it just feels more urgent, and I feel more dialed into this car. Eventually, it came down to a battle between Darren Turner, Drift World Record holder Mauro Carlo, and some fat bloke named after the Yorkshire Ripper. So there you have it. The best cars in which to drift in 2014 are the C63 AMG and Audi's V8 R8. And the best man to make them drift is Aston Martin's finest, Darren Turner, with an outrageous score of 33.9 points, way ahead of me in second on 26.7 points, and Mauro Carlo in third with 24.8. In the end, it wasn't even close, and the smile on Darren Turner's face said it all. Mm-hmm.